News. You know, if you just mention another storm, it certainly raises anxiety levels for folks in Finette. They're still dealing with damage from what happened there a month ago. And remember, that wasn't even tropical moisture, just regular old southeast Texas rain. So what should we all be doing tonight? Even this early, it's not a bad time to start thinking about your storm supplies. 12 News reporter Amelia White is live just to give us a refresher on what we should be doing and what should be on your hurricane list. Jordan Dage, the time is now to get prepared. Officials are ready to do their part to keep everyone safe, but there are things we all can do ahead of an active storm season. It happens every year like clockwork. We've had more than our share the last several years of natural disasters. Welcome to hurricane season. With Invest 92L developing in the Gulf, officials say Mother Nature is already keeping them on their toes. We have been keeping in contact with the Texas Division of Emergency Management at the National Hurricane Center. We get updates several times a day, including from the National Weather Service in Lake Charles and, and uh, the National Hurricane Center in Florida. Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brennick says local leaders shouldn't be the only ones in prep mode. I think it's always important that everybody in southeast Texas register with the stand.org, uh, that they go to ready.gov and look at those pre-disaster preparation checklists. So let's take a look at items you should pack. A booklet of cell phone numbers and emails of relatives and friends, medication and medical items, critical documents placed in a waterproof container, non-perishable food and water, protective gear, and items that comfort you during tough times. As always, with any weather event, whether it's a, a tropical storm, a hurricane, a heavy rain event, we'll always have sand available at all the precincts for citizens who uh, desire to fill up sandbags and protect their property. Brannick says this isn't the region's first season, and it won't be the last. So the entire team plans to stay ready so that they won't have to get ready. All of our emergency management plans are in place and, and we intend to follow those unless we get thrown a real uh, unique curveball, in which case we'll, we'll adjust and uh, adapt. I did speak with some folks around town to get a pulse check for this storm season. They say hurricanes are a part, are part of life when you live on the Gulf Coast. They're always either prepared to leave or fight the storm. I'm live in Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News.